Welcome to Voices for Impact, the podcast. Started during the COVID-19 pandemic and made in Syracuse, Voices for Impact is full of conversations with thought leaders from around the world that have made significant accomplishments in their lives and have gone through their own challenges, but have made it through those adversities and made positive impacts through their work. I'm your host, Danielle Mensing, and as a fundraiser for a nonprofit, I believe the most valuable tool you can give yourself is making a positive impact on others and your community. Every conversation is going to give you tools and tactics from entrepreneurs, athletes, artists, and change makers that will encourage you to develop a growth mindset and reimagine how you can find your purpose. Now let's get started. This episode of Voices for Impact is sponsored by Empowered Nutrition. Empowered Nutrition is a nutrition coaching business that empowers young women to simplify life by moving away from the all-consuming diet mentality. Through individual and group nutrition coaching, clients find their inner confidence so they can define their own path of health and happiness. Contact registered dietitian and owner Emily Holdorf at emily at empowerednutrition.co online at www.empowerednutrition.co or on social media at emily underscore the underscore rd. If you would like to advertise on an episode of Voices for Impact, contact us through Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Now back to the episode. Welcome to another episode of Voices for Impact. My name is Danielle Mensing, founder of Voices for Impact, and today I am chatting with Maria Saccharin, co-owner of Saccharin and Shaw, which is a lifestyle brand and brick and mortar shop located in Skinny Atlas, New York. Maria Saccharin and Elizabeth Shaw met designing private label clothing for major retailers within the fashion industry and combined their knowledge to develop a thriving and exciting lifestyle brand. So Saccharin and Shaw has turned into one of the fastest growing brands in upstate New York. They make their products for clients while being animal friendly and eco-conscious, working closely with their production partners to ensure the highest quality products. So thank you so much for having a conversation with me today. Thank you. Very excited. So tell me, what got you interested in printmaking and the fashion industry to begin with? So um, actually, my first job, um, I worked at J. Crew way back in the day, um, just out of college. I was a photography major, and so I wanted to kind of keep something in the realm of art and fashion. Um, so by working in retail, I just kind of started to absorb like what textiles really were um, and how I saw you know, what would be fashionable. Um, And then it just kind of turned into actually my senior project in college (laughs) and then into a business. Yeah. Um, So it's how I interpret photography into, into clothing and art. That's so awesome. And so you opened up this brick and mortar along with Elizabeth and um, this was in 2019. Tell me a little bit about like what motivated you to open a boutique and start this lifestyle brand and, and why in Skinny Atlas? So I actually um, worked out in Skinny Atlas for three or four Christmases prior to this. Um, I left to do some bigger retail again, Um, but it had been on our radar. We were doing craft shows and knew that we needed to gear towards something a little more like stable and solid. Um, I actually, the space is also with Sea Culture brand. Um, And so we met actually at LL Bean out in Fayetteville. Um, So this happened between like a Monday and we were literally open on Friday. So this was like not very, it was not planned. Um, so we kind of met, I was doing a lot of craft shows, was getting really tired. And then, um, Dan who owns Sea Culture Brand, he had the opportunity to get into an actual space and knew that like, let's pop up, let's split the space. We didn't really know each other. Um, we literally came here and met the realtors and I just called my business partner up and I was like, I think this is our, you know, foot in the door. Um, I had worked in Skinny Atlas. So I was like, I know what it's like here. Like if we're going to survive and like really grow, like this is where we're going to do it. Yeah. So, how exciting! So, tell me a little bit about what it's been like ever since opening your store in Skinny Atlas. Well, crazy because we obviously picked the best year on the planet. Um, so we actually had such a great welcoming holiday season. So we opened up on Black Friday. Our lease was from Black Friday to like January fifth. 
Um, but we knew halfway through, we were like, we're just going to stay like, this is, this is great. And the space is nice for us. Um, it's very homey in here. Um, it's just, we've made it our home we're right in the center of everything too. It's perfect. Yeah. Location. yeah. So it, so we were very welcome in December, knew that we were going to stay January and February were fine for us. And obviously everything kind of fell apart in March. Um, but we opened just in time for summer. Um, so from June until like now, it's just been really, a really welcoming, um, very busy. Um, life seems normal out here as much as it can be. So it's yeah. been a really good time. Well, that's really good news. And so, you know, as a business owner, so many business owners have had to learn how to pivot this year and pivot their business. And what ways um, did you get through those challenges this year and keep that positive mindset? Um, I, you know, I think because we did so many craft shows and because, so we started in 2015 and then, you know, didn't have a brick and mortar till 2019. And my business partner um, and me don't actually live near each other. So um, we were working apart anyway. So by closing this, it was really me having to adapt to not being here every day. So we really just, our online business kind of took off. And then, you know, we didn't like necessarily jump on the bandwagon, but I had already made buffs prior to this out of our pattern. So it was like, all right, people need something, might as well give it to them. So like we pivoted for a little bit to like helping everyone make sure they had a mask. Um, and then headbands, like things just started to really rock and roll, um, which was really great. Um, so we just had like a really, really good time. Just kind of like learning how to just like, okay, we can do this no matter what. Yeah. So um, what drives you? It's always been something that I've wanted to do. Um, so just knowing that I actually have the opportunity to do it. I don't want to waste any time. Um, so every day here is definitely a blessing. So I love whatever happens. I'm just, I've been loving it. That's such a great place to be, to finally, uh, have your own store to be doing what you love to do. I think so many people try to, um, and can work their whole life to try to get to that point, but you're here, you're young, you're flourishing in this awesome business that you've created. I mean, how does that feel? Um, takes, it takes a step back every once in a while. Cause you're in it every day, just like grinding and working. And I'm still, you know, we're here long hours or we're, you know, just things happen. You know, some days we'll call it a COVID day. Sometimes it's a light day and especially in the beginning. Yeah. Um, so you just start to adapt. And then every once in a while we're sitting here, um, me and me and Dan sit here all the time together because we're the two that work here and we'll sit back and be like, dude, dude, this is great. And then I'll text my business partner. It's like, I miss you. I wish you were here, dude. We're doing great. Like, it's just like these little like yeah. days of just being like, you know, we got this. So. And that's so good. I guess you're celebrating the little successes you're taking it in. Um, and I think it's um, so many overachievers or just people that are in business or just go, go, go all the time. And they don't take those moments to just really sink in and be um, so excited at, at the point they're, they're in, but it's good that you do that. Yeah, we make little like I just have goals every month. And once we hit them, which we've, we've been hitting them, which is so nice. It's like, okay, we did it. Like, this is great. Let's do it again. So I love that. What is a skill or characteristic about you that you think has allowed you to reach your goals and dreams? Hmm. I feel like we've been talking about this a lot lately. Um, I have some younger entrepreneur friends that I'm just trying to like, I kind of help navigate too, but um I kind of do it and do it my way. Like I know where I want to get. So it's just figuring out like what, you know, I did so many different jobs, odds and ends in retail to get here. So just figuring out what, um, I'm all about experiences. So all the experiences that have led me to here. So really just like one thing after the next being like, you know, at the time didn't seem right, but it really got me to, I, I've, I've now opened two stores. So I helped open up the Athleta in the mall. Um, so I got a big, you know, experience and then literally year later I was opening up my store it was like oh okay I get it now like I get why I did what I did so it's yeah. just all about the experiences that kind of lead me where I'm going that's so true I think um people want to get there right away but they have to realize it's the little steps along the way the things you learn help you to really get to that end goal that's so true so my last question for you is how do you define success I think it's all the little things that have amounted me to here. So all, all the little things, it's those little things to really be grateful for. Obviously opening up the store was one of the biggest things I've ever done and was like, oh my God, I did it. But now it's like the hard work sets in and I have to do all these little things every day to continue to be successful. 
So it's, it's the little things that really, I think the little accomplishments that make me successful. So the day to day. I love it. Now, um, for our viewers watching, where can they go to shop online and, uh, what are some also some things in the future that might be coming up? I know I said my other question was my last question, but this is really my last question. <laughs> okay. So um, our website, saccharinandshaw.com um, has a lot of what we have. Um, we do have specific things just in the store, just because we have a lot of like smaller items um, and our Instagram at Saccharin and Shaw. Um, we post everything you can buy right off there. Um, we're just kind of expanding our clothing line. Um, we do a lot of like made in the USA. Um, we do have different, um, people around that kind of like make our jewelry for us and do a bunch of different little things. So we know everyone who's making what we're making. Um, so more rings. I know a lot of people know that I'm like obsessed with jewelry. So we've been getting some more stuff like that. And so we're kind of curating like what our collection would be, like what we would wear, what we would, you know, what we sell. So there's going to be some more clothing and like, you know, just lots of fun things to come. So Awesome. Stay tuned and visit Saccharin and Shaw and Skinny Atlas or their website or their social media to stay connected. This is so exciting. Um, I love your shop and what you've been doing and your story is so awesome. So just thank you so much for giving us some insight into what you do. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you so much to our viewers for watching. Voices for Impact is on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Apple and iHeartRadio podcast platforms. So please follow, like, subscribe to stay connected and see you next time on Voices for Impact. Bye. This episode of Voices for Impact is sponsored by Empowered Nutrition. Empowered Nutrition is a nutrition coaching business that empowers young women to simplify life by moving away from the all-consuming diet mentality. Through individual and group nutrition coaching, clients find their inner confidence so they can define their own path of health and happiness. Contact registered dietitian and owner Emily Holdorf at emily at empoweredNutrition.co, online at www.empoweredNutrition.co, or on social media at emily underscore the underscore rd. If you would like to advertise on an episode of Voices for Impact, contact us through Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn.